you believe in the power of a single act of kindness? After experiencing Rachel's challenge, you will. It's really good to be with you all here this morning to share my sister's story with you. You get to hear a story. You get to hear an amazing story. A story about a girl named Rachel Scott. This is what is going to change the culture of your school and change the lives of your students and your faculty members. On April 20th, 1999, in Littleton, Colorado, two students walked into Columbine High School with guns and bombs and proceeded to kill 12 students and one teacher. It definitely got to my heart. I was really moved by today's uh, assembly and I think we should do it all over the country. It definitely it chokes you up. For one thing it's such a tragedy. So much has good has come of it. My daughter Rachel was the first one to be killed in the Columbine tragedy at Columbine High School. Rachel's challenge uh, today has had an absolute phenomenal impact. It was everything I expected it to be and more. About two weeks after her death her family discovered an essay she wrote for fifth period class. And I found it Underneath her bed, it was caught on the mattress springs. And the essay was called, My Ethics, My Codes of Life. But I think that this sh sh assembly should be seen by every junior high and every senior high kid in the, in the United States of America. In this essay, Rachel challenged her reader to start what she called, A Chain Reaction of Kindness and Compassion. It, you know, reached my heart. That really reached me deeply. It was really good. It like, really inspired me to be kind. She said, I have this theory. If one person will go out of their way to show compassion, then it will start a chain reaction to the same. People will never know how far a little kindness can go. I think Rachel's challenge uh, is one of the most important messages uh, out there today. It's giving students permission to reach out, to be kind, to be positive. Rachel's challenge gives you an opportunity where you have kids coming to the forefront and they're the ones deciding to step up and bring about this cohesive community that caring is important. Another goal that Rachel wrote was on the back of her dresser when she was 13 years old. She drew an outline of her hands. And inside the tracing she wrote, these hands belong to Rachel Joy Scott and will someday touch millions of people's hearts. And by the time my family and I read this, this had already come true. And over the past nine years since Rachel died, over 11 million people have heard the story about her. A lot of people are already trying to be nice to people and remembering, like, remember Rachel's challenge. We have six basic belief systems, and we think that Rachel's challenge reflects each one of those. In my 20 years in education, I've never seen a program like Rachel's Challenge that includes every element that I, as a school principal, is trying to infuse in my student body and in my community. 